It's up. Oh my gosh, it's actually up. This is not a drill. This is not a drill. So you have 11 hero talents. You can either go Spell Singer or Sun Fury. Oh my gosh, okay. <clears throat> Dude, this is so insane. What the heck is going on? What the heck? All right, I kind of, I'm, I'm trying to think what I want to test first, chat. I guess let's get a basic mage build in. Oh, I could go arcane fire. Let's go fire. Or do you want to go, should I do arcane first or fire first? I want to go, I want to try fire first, I think. I think I want to try fire first. And then I'll do arcane second, and then I'll do frost last. We'll do fire, arcane, then frost. Arcane, we've seen everyone else play fire. Okay, fine. I'll do arcane, then fire, then frost. Deal? Arcane first, then fire, then frost. All right, let's just like kind of pick a... Doesn't have to be like a perfect spec here, but let's just like kind of pick something. And then for arcane, we'll kind of pick something as well. And then I want to unlock these hero talents and just see what happens. Man, the <clears throat> new talent page is crazy. I don't know if I like it or not. I think I do. I think I do kind of like it. You, you don't have to page through it all. It's just kind of there. You know, like you just open this and it's just all your stuff right here. I guess there's pages for passives and for fire and for frost. But if you're arcane, it's just like there, like everything is just here, which kind of makes a lot of sense, you know? <clears throat> Okay, so I can either go Spell Slinger or Sun Fury. What do you guys want? Everyone wants Sun Fury. Okay. Let's try Sun Fury first. So 10 points available. Can, that just means you can get everything? So I definitely want the Phoenix. I definitely want the stun, baby. Yeah, I definitely want this. 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 So, I have everything? You just get it all. So there's no choices, okay? That's interesting. So I just have all of it. Fine. Gravity lapse. What kind of idiot tries to gravity lapse a target dummy, guys? You can't move it. Go to a freaking mob outside the city. Cheese. Watch this. <laughs> okay. I mean, hey, bro. Hey. Oh, you guys got ads? Oh. Okay, let's take a look. So every time I get clear casting, I get an orb, right? Here's my, here's my dude. Oh my gosh, look at my Phoenix, look at my Phoenix. What the hell is my Phoenix doing? Why is he attacking all this random stuff? Attack the main target! Yo, Skull, bro! Skull! I don't know what the hell the Phoenix was doing there. Yeah, just breaking every CC in the entire game right there, man. Okay, I'm gonna read this again. So, oh, it's every four times you consume clear casting, not every one time. And when you're out of combat, you'll conjure them as well. Okay, got it. When you surge, you get the Phoenix. This is the stun. <clears throat> so the only way for me to get Spellfire Spheres is through consuming clear casting. So I would basically just want to spam consume clear cast to get orbs as much as possible. So then when the Phoenix comes out, it farms harder, I think, yeah. The Phoenix does what the Phoenix wants. Yeah, sounds about right. So one clear cast.
We have one orb there because that was four clear cast, I guess. So there's probably going to be a weak core that shows you like how many clear casts you are. Oh, it's right here. Two stacks. Okay, now three stacks. And this will be the fourth one. So now I have two orbs. So it's probably going to be worth to get what? Like four orbs and then use surge so that the phoenix farms harder. We have three stacks and four stacks. Okay, now we have three spheres. And it only, okay, you can only get three uh, Spellfire unless you talent into this to go to five. So once you get three, then I would assume you would want to Arcane Surge. And then this guy's gonna go dumb hard. This guy's gonna go dumb, like G Pie. Just G Pied over there. And I got another orb above my head. Oh, he's already gone though. You know what? This one's probably better. It's probably better to play this. Stack it up to five and then unleash. Go fire with Sun Fury. Yeah, I'll try that in a second. I just wanted to test this uh, arcane first. Okay, so let's get five stacks and then use arcane surge. Bring out our Phoenix and then just go dumb hard. So it takes a long time if you want to generate five, bro. I'm still only at four. Okay, I have five. Okay, so I have five stacks. Then if I wanted to Arcane Surge... This guy should just go wild now. Like, this guy should, should just be... <laughs> I like how he just kills everything, dude. Huh. It feels as arcane really slow to generate orbs. I uh, I kind of want to check out fire and see how fast you can as fire. Like in PvP, I do agree. You'd probably kind of be running around with like barrage and arcane explosion, just kind of generating like one or two orbs. And then when you generate one or two orbs, you would probably go in for like a surge. But it feels a bit slow and janky. <clears throat> and let's try Sun Fury. So this is the build we saw preheat play. I think. Gravity lapse is fire, baby. Let's try this one again. Okay. Uh, let's just start messing around on the target dummy a sec. Yeah, this is more like it. Yeah, that's a little more like it, huh, boys? Holy crap. I feel like fire... I've said this for a very long time. Feels like a complete spec. And Arcane and Frost need reworks for a very long time. And Fire just feels like it's been nice. It's smooth. It feels good. It's been this way for a very long time. And the other two just kind of need it. They just, they just feel very awkward. So fire has a very similar design as we've seen it as we've seen it although the difference is the sun fury tab so you're generating spheres and with those spheres you're getting aid from your phoenix and you get gravity laps to stun i mean honestly this sounds really fun <laughs> i'm not gonna lie dude fire seems really fun
So you have Combust back. The Phoenix is out. The Phoenix is going to town. You reset all your cooldowns again. Are my talents wrong? Oh, I don't have Inferno. I don't have an Unleash Inferno. All right, this should be better now. Okay, so once again, Oh. Do people play Alexstrasza as Fury or From the Ashes? Probably Alexstrasza actually, huh? Because you want Phoenix Flames to crit. Yeah, probably Alexstrasza. in on this yeah definitely locked in on this okay this is feeling way better now huh when does hypothermia proc Fire Blast and Flame Strike have no cast time and are guaranteed to critically strike. When your Arcane Phoenix expires and powers you granting hypothermia. Oh, when okay, so when the Phoenix expires. Wow. Okay. And then you also get a second chance from this. Okay. Wow. This is nut. This build is crazy, man. This build is gonna be so good. So you have like two orbs up. Just combust with a phoenix. It's gonna be expending orbs. Right when that phoenix goes away, I can spam instant pyros for free. So it's away right now. Now we just spam instant pyros for free. And then we can reset the cooldowns. Spam more. Bro, that is so bonkers, man. Holy crap. Now Combust has 15 seconds again. We just did it almost three times in a row, man. This is peak Fire Mage Fantasy. It really is, yeah. Now we have Combust back up. Holy crap. And I don't even think my build is as good as it could be. Man, I almost just want to like undo all of this like i, I want to make like a build from the beginning because i feel like there's some stuff that we probably don't need yeah maybe something like this drop flame strike this isn't flame strike this is searching blaze i thought the same thing flame strike and pyro cast times are reduced and damage dealt by 10. yeah it, which is way better i like this is way better drop this for living bomb dude you get 10 percent pyro damage there's no way you're ever dropping this living bomb could be good but do you even have globals to send it 30 second cooldown oh oh wow anyway let's let's try something like this okay <clears throat> take five so basically you're vibing out you're chilling and it's like, let's go. Phoenix is out. Phoenix is pumping. Phoenix is going home soon. Once the Phoenix disappears, we start spamming pyros. We spam pyros.
Okay, we have no more procs. We have two orbs. We reset cooldowns. And... Kimboss is not up for 20 seconds. Did I mess up my build again? Shouldn't I have combust like almost up? Okay, let's try again. About 20 seconds left. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's about right. You combust and then you have about 10 to 15 seconds before your next combust. It's crazy, dude. It's crazy. Yeah, man. That's a rotation and a half, isn't it? Not gonna lie, it's pretty nice. So I combusted twice in a row, and I have about 15 seconds till the next combust. Yeah, sounds about right. Wow. What was Preheat doing to get all three Fire Blast charges back? Okay, now we have another Combust. Why am I jumping? Uh, it's just to not accidentally hard cast Pyro. So you can spam your Pyro key to min-max. Not accident. Like, if you, if you don't have the proc, like, that exact second, you don't waste any time. Five head, yeah, it's what all the PvE fire mages do and PvP. So that's three combustions in a row with this build, and a fourth one's back up. So you can have like, it's se seemingly like an 80% uptime on combust or something, dude. And it's almost all instant cast. The hypothermia at the end of the Phoenix guaranteed is wild. I just messed up a global there. I'm not even really using living bomb either. What was Preheat doing to get all three of the Fire Blast charges back? DF Fire is similar? It is similar, but Sun Fury makes it even better. Con conjuring an, a sphere causes your next Pyro to deal 100% increased damage. So it's just, you don't even have to think about it. So you get Burden of Power from getting a sphere. You get a sphere by consuming Hot Streaks. You get spheres, you do bigger Pyros. The bigger Pyros gives you a Phoenix Flame that gives you your Fire Blast back to get more... Oh, dude, fire is such a well-designed spec. It all just works. It flows. You know what I mean? It just works so darn well. All right, so basically, I'm going to pop Gravity Lapse to instantly stun him. And then in the stun, I'm going to pop Combust. And my Phoenix is going to come out. And then from there, I'm just going to continue casting one-shot damage until the Priest is dead. I can't believe how hard this spec goes. It's basically Fire Mage from BFA on steroids. Well, it's like Shadowlands was like BFA Fire Mage and then 
Dragonflight was like Shadowlands Fire Mage on steroids. And now War Within is like Dragonflight Fire Mage on steroids. It's, it's crazy. It's like, when did Fire Mage become this way? So we had like BFA Fire and it was like really strong. And then after BFA, we had Shadowlands and they like nerfed it like a little bit. It felt like kind of weaker. And then we had um, Dragonflight Fire, which it felt like even stronger. And now we have War Within Fire and it feels like even stronger. But they're all like one and the same. They all feel similar, which is good because it's a good class design. Fire is one of the few specs in, in the retail game that I actually really enjoy. I think it's, it's really well done. Dragon Man wants to duel. Bro, you have 200k life. You're supposed to have 600k. Why do you have 200k life? Put some clothes on. Oh, turn war mode on? Wait, what What item level are you? A Shytrolum? 437. Wait, he's 170 item level. Oh, maybe dragons got screwed. Open your box. Oh, this mage wants to duel. How would a mage duel even look? Oh, crap. I forgot I had a stun. I forgot I had a stun, but it's not a stun. You can't even blink it. Rank one, TWW Inc. Dude, I don't, I'm not gonna, guys, I'm not gonna push rank one again, all right? Stop, we're not doing that, okay, chat? If I get too engrossed, you guys have to tell me to stop, all right? Unbelievable. Oh, man. Yeah, I like playing my mage. Mages are really fun. Yeah, I like, I really, I really like Sun Fury Fire Mage chat. It's really uh, enjoyable. Holy crap. So I could swap from Sun Fury over to Frostfire and lose my Phoenixes and lose my stuns. And I would basically get like Frostfire Bolt. But there's no way to instantly cast Frost Firebolt. So this is like, tr this is all trash. You know what I mean? Like, let's theory craft here. How would you play Frost Fire Mage? How would you actually do it? What would you do? You would have to cast, hard cast, a Frost Firebolt that replaces Frost Bolt? No idea, you're the rank one mage? Guys, I'm asking you guys. You guys are better than me when it comes to like, trying to figure out this like, this uh these talent builds and stuff it gets confusing tinder frost fireball i don't think it would work yeah i don't all of these talents just seem bad let's do it anyway though so let's go to severe temperatures because we're not going to hard cast it yeah all of these talents don't seem great Oh, so here I should have frost fire bolted.
I didn't, I didn't go improve Blast Wave, I don't think. Here, let me cast a Frost Firebolt. Just to freak him out. <laughs> I don't know. Nothing in this talent tree is appealing. Like, nothing is helping me, I really. I progressively donate more. Why don't you play retail anymore? <laughs> you were a god and worshipped hmm? as such. Please explain. I've done many videos explaining. The, the TLDR is that retail makes me try hard. And getting older, I've been enjoying playing more casually. And since I have such a... I mean, you could use the word ego, or you could just use, like, there's such a... I have history with the game that it's hard for me to just casually play retail. As I'm getting older, I like to play casually. It's hard to casually play retail because I have such a history with the game, being a uh, pro or whatever, that it's hard for me to just play casually. That's basically the TLDR. Okay. And I, I like playing casually these days. So that's kind of the difference. But Pika's a casual? I mean, that's true. I could maybe learn from Peekaboo on how not to take it uh, very hard and just play lower ratings. Yeah, I, I'll talk to him off stream about it. Good call. And let, yeah, let's check out let's check out Frost Fall Slinger now. See, you like almost all the variations. So casting Icy Vein. Oh, this is a splinter one. Okay, sick. So you basically just send a bunch of splinters. <clears throat> when you consume Winner's Chill, you conjure a Frost Splinter. What's Winner's Chill again? Shifting power fires a barrage of splinters. First time in orbit, <laughs> you get splintered. Winner's Chill conjures a splinter. When you're blizzard, splinter gets AoE. Icy Vein splintered. Okay. Uh, What's an embedded frost splinter? Guess we'll try to find out. Direct damage from splinters has a chance to do a comet. 2% increased crit, okay. Splinter storm. Whenever eight or more embedded frost splinters. Or wait, whenever you have eight or more active embedded frost splinters, you automatically cast a splinter storm. Recall all embedded frost splinters to you, dealing their damage. After a brief delay unleash a devastating barrage of frost. Oh dude, this build is gonna be disgusting. There's a silver civil war in chat. Yo, sorry guys. I've been trying to do my talents. What's going on? <clears throat> Will you at least return for the war within beginning? I do plan to check it out for a little bit. Yeah Classic versus retail. Okay. So yeah, if you guys want to talk classic versus retail, that's awesome What you should do is add each other on uh, Discord and then call each other and then you could talk um, Over discord with a microphone about your thoughts on which one is better or which one you like better. Oops, I don't have Ice Nova on, I guess. Okay, I'm awful at this build. I didn't do anything right, but this build pumps. I messed up everything though. So basically I would sheep someone, I would frost bomb, I would orb, blizzard, and just launch ice lances forever. Uh go easy, go easy. Oh, I missed my dragon's breath. <laughs> Silence. BT, Dark Ascension, PI, ooh. Give me that PI, baby. Mind games. Splinter, 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 splinter. Splinter, 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 splinter. Splinters are kind of doing something, I don't know.
Oh no. Oh, I let him get the fear. Dude, this build I think feels rad. Look at all, oh, the splinters are only doing 100 damage. They're happening constantly though. Oh, they're only hitting like a hundred though. Like Icelands, just for context, people have half a million life and the Icelands are hitting for say 30,000. All right, just for some context, let's try his fire just to see what the damage difference feels like. Half a million? Yeah, people have about half a million. I don't have ice block this duel, but let's see how it goes without block. Yeah, that felt different. I kind of like the fire build. Did you stun me? Yeah, mage has stun now. Pog. <laughs> yes, sir. Dude, I just like gravity laps. Like the fact that mages can stun is kind of, kind of fire. Try Frostfire again, but <coughs> spend your procs on Frostfire. Wait, are you telling me you, instead of Pyro, you can launch Frostfire Bolts with, with Hot Streak? Okay, I want to try um, that Splinter build a little bit more. Oh my gosh, wait, I need to ring a fire. Man, Frost needs a rework. Blizzard, Blizzard! Let's remake Frost. It needs it. Not just this expansion, but last expansion, and the expansion before, and the one before that, and the one before that, and the one before that. It's been- it's, it's overdue. Can we please redesign Frost? New mastery, new- like, please. This spec is abysmal, man. Ring of Fire. Glacial. Ray of Frost. Comet Storm. R Frost Bomb. R Glacial Spike. Like... We need a new Frost- we, we need- like, what- what? Who- what? Fire. Whoever made fire is just like, is just perfect. All right. Um. Pull some favors, Zar. Yo, I wish. I didn't miss that orb, I was just testing something. I mean, this build seems kinda nasty. I would just need to practice it a bit. It's not, it's not as like easy, I think, on the brain. Embedded Frost Splinter, 18,000. Frost Splinter, 2,000, 2,000, 2,000, 2,000. Like, the consistent pressure from a build like this goes kind of hard. I think Frost needs more spells. Like the thing about class design is like, you want a good variety of spells, but you don't want too many spells that are all contradicting each other because then it just doesn't feel good to cast any of them. You know what I mean? Looks exactly the same as current Frost Mage. Yeah, Spell Slinger is a bunch of passives. They don't really do anything. It just makes all of your Frost stuff give you way more uh, splinter damage. Think of like um, the Needler from Halo 3.
All right, should we try Arcane a little bit more? So this is Arcane. It's not giving me full stacks anymore. That's not. Mm. Yeah, I'm not really sure how Arcane works these days. the match I guess doesn't give you full charges anymore no it does hi huh. maybe it was bugged I thought I arc I touched and didn't get full charges DF season one was frost uh, frost was nice for I played fire I think too many talents they should make it simpler my brain is exploding press one in the chat if you think there's too many talents and your brain is exploding press two in the chat if you actually like these talent designs a lot and you enjoy them 